Alrighty guys, I wanted to show you quickly how I converted this Briggs & Stratton that had a dual circuit alternator to a 10 slash 16 amp charging system. Now first a little history on this engine. Um, this engine came off of a 1994 Craftsman 2 that had a mechanical PTO clutch. So it had a lever that you would push up to engage the deck. Now this engine is on a 2003 Toro Time Cutter 1744ZX with a electric PTO clutch. Now, installed a new battery in the mower this year and I was determined to finally get this thing to charge. So all I actually had to do was remove that dual circuit stator I installed the 10 slash 16 amp stator. I added a Briggs and Stratton voltage regulator. However, it's not an OEM Briggs one. It's just an aftermarket one off of eBay. The stator is an OEM Briggs stator. And I actually just made a nice little mount out of some aluminum flat bar that I found in the scrap pile at work and just drilled holes to mount the regulator on and a hole to mount it to the um, engine using one of the blower housing bolts now as far as wiring very simple um, plug from the stator plugs right onto the voltage regulator and now this did have the little Briggs quick disconnect on it. However, I opted to get rid of that and just used a 14 through 16 uh, blue heat shrink butt connector. I got some discarded outboard motor harness wire that goes to the B plus side of the starter solenoid. So the battery constant side. It charges very well when the engine is running at 3600 RPM. I do have a full 14.2 volts at the battery. And then when I engage the electric PTO, it'll hold a constant 13, 13 and a half volts. So now uh, my battery will last a lot longer. Cause I used to have to put a battery in this thing every single year. And now, for this particular mower, I'm using an Interstate SP40 battery, which is 350 cold cranking amps, 435 cranking amps. And I do have a little volt gauge installed. It's actually an Evinrude one that I just had lying around. And now since all of the Electrical on this thing is pretty, um, you know, it's pretty uh, jimmy rigged. Uh, I do have an Evinrude key switch for all my electrical. So now there's no safeties on this mower whatsoever. So obviously do that at your own risk. If you do what I do, I'm not liable for any injuries to yourself or others. And you can see I have the black and um, black with a yellow tracer for my kill. My starter solenoid wire, yellow with a red tracer. Same thing as I'm used to working on outboards. So, like I said, um, this is how I converted my Briggs & Stratton flathead to use a 10 slash... 16 amp charging system and now I did do some more reading Briggs and Stratton has a little alternator guide for doing repowers and now since this engine had a dual circuit alternator on it um, it has a small flywheel magnets which means that I have a 10 amp charging system on this mower and it's perfect for running the PTO clutch and then I just have some LED lights up on the front. So, 
Thanks for watching. And bye.